Hey there! Today's session will introduce you in Chatbot Developer. My name is Bruna and I am a product owner at the Build This Engineering Team. We are going to build a chatbot based on the Convert Curious script that was developed in our previous sessions. First, let's take a look at our final result. So, this is what you're going to build. But great us and then it gives us a list of options. If you choose the first one, it will ask the user to input the data. So, let's go with euro against dollar. Now it's the same as we have already seen with the convert currency script. So here's our result, and that's it. Let's exit and get started. So this is the script we were working on our previous session, the deploying my first bot session. Let's get rid of some things we won't need anymore. We don't need this get special folder nor write file, so let's comment them. Uh, we can use Ctrl E and C to comment, and we can get rid of this log message as well. Okay. So now let's extract the scope to a subroutine. In the future, we will have sessions covering this matter in detail, but for now, let's work with this just for a matter of organization, okay? It will make our code cleaner and easier to view. So, Ctrl A selects all, right click, advanced, extract whole Uh, let's name our routine. It's gonna call convert current. Now that we have a subroutine, we can just click on this close button and go back to the main routine. Here we can see that the extract routine already added a run subroutine command. We will use that later. Now we will add the chatbot specific commands. First, we have to create a language. We can do this with the create language command. So, control send column to quick access the toolbox, create language, so, I'm going to use the English here. You can use whatever you want. And result goes to the verbal tree. Now, most important thing, the bot connect command. Oops. Bot connect. So type is chat. For language, we we will use the language it just created. So control space opens our variables and there is our control variable. Uh, I will also set a timeout, five minutes. Do not confuse with this timeout, 
this is something else. It is a super routine to be called when time runs out. And then we also have the bot connect command. That is added along with the bot connect because every bot connect command must be closed with a bot connect, right? So now we have a context here and all of our chat logic must be within this context. First, let's add a greeting. For this, I use a bot says command. So, bot says. We will always use this cute variable we had, okay? And, hi there. I am a bot. Right. This column has to be inside the bot connect context, right? So I use alt key and arrows to move the comment back and forth. So let's add a new message. Bot says again, future and how can I help has to be inside context, so I removed sub. Now we are going to build the main part of the logic. We will use the do while loop and it will ask over and over until the user chooses to leave. Let's create a boolean variable called exit. I use alt shift v to create a new variable, so exit boolean and false. Now the dual. We're going to check if the exit variable we just created, check it if this is false. And move it up. First of all, we are going to ask the user what he wants to do. We are going to use bot ask list. And our culture uh, text, uh, please choose an option. Uh, for the names, we need to have a list of texts. So, this room here, we can create a new variable. So, options, list, text. And the options are going to be convert a currency and exit. Right? There is our variable. Uh, let's set a uh, timeout here as well. And our value to a variable option. Let's get this inside the dial. So first, let's check if the user wants to leave. If he chose the option exit, then our boolean variable exit must be true. So let's use set for if. So We'll set the variable exit to true if option equals to uh, exit. Okay, let's move it. Now, if the user chooses to convert a currency, We'll ask them to input the currency that he wants to convert, right? 
Then we use our subroutine to check this. So let's use if to check this option. If option equals to convert over equals then we'll ask him the first question. We're going to use the bodice command for you, so bodice. Future and the text from all creation to convert. Okay. Same as before, I will set up a timeout here. And remember that variable from our previous script from currency. We are going to use it there. And I also have a success variable here. I want to check if uh, the user answered this question successfully. Now we have to deal with the case in which the user does not answer a question. So I'll check the success variable. So if success is not true, we want to the loop to keep going and show the options again because it makes no sense to ask the other questions if the user didn't answer it right. So let's use a continue here. Same thing goes for the next question, okay? So let's just copy it here and modify it again. to what currency and to currency. All right. Now that we have the information we need, we can convert the currency. We will just add a wait message before, okay? So, uh, all right, please wait a minute while I shut this out. Okay. And then remember the run subroutine command we want to use it right now. So let's go get it. right after the bot says and this will do as we have seen previously this will convert the currents right now we have to show the user the results so let's use bot says again but first i want to show a friendly message right so remember the current date and time that we have in the super routine I want to form it so it looks nicer. So I'm going to use the date time to text. And the date is our current date and time. Short date, English, 
and that's the current day text. Okay. And we want almost the same thing with time. Just let's copy and modify it. So in this case, short time and then current time text. Now let's display our output using boxes again. Our culture and well on current date at current time um the from current to to current exchange rate is one for quotation right just one more message but says uh, can we help you anything else and that's it for our dual loop let's add a good my message after the dual loop uh hope to see you again soon bye And also, let's add a delay so the user can read the mask for the execution finishes. So delay, and um, my timeout, uh, 10 seconds is nice. Now, let's see running again to check if everything is all right. And five to start. Okay, I want to tag euro against dollar again. So, first option. And now, let's wait for a little while. So everything went well, right? Now let's just exit. And that's it for today's session. I hope you got the gist of a chatbot development. And um, be aware that there are a lot of more complex possibilities. Like uh, you can use a knowledge base to enhance the chatbot, for example, and so on. These matters are going to be approached in future sessions, right? So. Thanks for your time and have a good one.